In this week's guitar tip, I'll talk about holding the pick and a common bad habit that I see in beginners of holding the pick with two fingers and the thumb. I'll explain uh, why I prefer this way over the two fingers and thumb approach, and I'll also explain how I hold the pick in the first place. Now before I start, I'm sure there's people who would argue that this is just fine. I think that you should start with the standard way and then make an educated decision from there. And I recommend that with everything on the guitar. Just learn the standard first, and after that, then go and try your own way. So the, to hold the pick in the first place, I just point my finger with my thumb up, bend my index finger, I grab the pick by the pointy end and put that thicker end on the tip joint of my index finger and I close my thumb. At this point, your index finger will be at kind of a 90 degree angle that's not very comfortable. You can loosen it up and get comfortable like this. When you look at your thumb, you'll see there's a little bit of pick hanging over. You don't want too much. If you have too much pick hanging over, it's gonna be difficult to control. It's kind of like flipping a light switch with your hand and flipping a light switch with a stick from far away. If you have more pick hanging out, it's just more pick you have to control. It's going to be more difficult to find the strings. So hold it a little bit closer to the tip like this. Now let's get into why I prefer just the thumb and the index finger instead of three fingers. When you look at me holding it between these two fingers, you can see I have a lot of flexibility. And that means that I have a wide range of movement from my elbow a smaller one from my wrist, and an even smaller one from my index and thumb. If I add in another finger, I'm just complicating that simple thing. I'm just adding another finger and joint into the equation, which restricts my movement. You can even see I can move a lot in here, just a little bit. So adding that extra finger is kind of unnecessary and restricts your movement a little bit. When you add that extra finger, you also feel that there's a little bit more tension in your hand. Just because you're closing more fingers, you are contracting more muscles and adding tension to something that doesn't really need to have any tension at all. In fact, if you just hold the pick between your index and thumb and just basically let go, you'll see that it actually just sticks between those two fingers just stuck to the skin. So you can actually have a very, very light grip. As soon as you start, whoop, a little too light there. As soon as you start adding in another finger, you're just adding more tension. I also like to hybrid pick sometimes, and that's when I use my thumb and index finger to maneuver the pick, but then I can also finger pick with the remaining three fingers, kind of like this. If I have two fingers on the pick, I now only have two remaining fingers to finger pick with, and because of the way I'm gripping it, it's actually causing me to have a hand, a angle of my hand that isn't really great for finger picking. So it just complicates the whole thing. The last thing is that sometimes I like to use a pinky anchor when I'm playing. So I put my pinky on the scratch guard and it just keeps my hand balanced while I'm picking and I can pick freely and I have a lot of mobility between my index and thumb, my wrist too can move and my pinky is just holding my hand in place nicely. If I have two fingers on my pick, once again, it's just restricting my movement. Now I only have one finger free and it's just awkwardly sticking out now because there's so much tension in my hand between the pinky anchor and these two fingers on the pick. It's completely unnecessary. Why don't I just take that finger off? I could still finger pick, hybrid pick, with the two remaining fingers and have a pinky anchor, anchor and lots of flexibility in my fingers. So to summarize, Adding that extra finger in on the pick doesn't really do anything special for you. So stick with just the two fingers, get less tension in your hand, and more flexibility. That's this week's guitar tip. I'll see you next time.